Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Mini Tool Partition Wizard Professional uh, version 12. So they have a free version as well that you could actually uh, download and use. And you could even try out the professional version for a little bit while you uh, download the uh, free version. So if you want to upgrade to the professional, uh, right now you get it for 159 bucks. Lifetime upgrade, data recovery, 5 PC license. So it's a pretty good deal there. So it does a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to try and go through as much as I can here and just give you an idea of everything you could do with it. All right, so depending on what kind of disk you have, you'll have menus here. So you have your partition management here. So if you see, if I click on my C drive here, I get this menu here with the wizards and change partitions. You know, you could do migrate the OS, copy partitions, copy the disk, partition recovery, move and resize partitions, extend partitions, merge partitions, split change cluster size, convert NTFS to FAT, all kinds of stuff. And then if I click on this guy here, which is a, this is a simple disk, this is a dynamic disk. You'll see I have dynamic disk management when I have some other options here. You know, similar ones, but I have some additional ones that are specific to dynamic disks. And then I even have this unallocated space here, it's just a blank disk, no partition or anything. And if I click on that, um, I still get some other options too. I could even create a partition from here. So let's do that real quick. Uh, we'll call this uh, miscellaneous. We'll do a primary partition. We'll use the drive letter F. We'll do NTFS, cluster size default. You, know, you could change all these settings if you want. Then you could also drag this too. If you don't want to use all the space, you could allocate how much space you want to use. But we're going to use it all, so we'll click on OK. They even have a tutorial if you want to watch that. So every time you do something, you'll have operations pending. So you need to apply it. So if you do this and exit out, it's not going to apply until you uh, click on apply. So let's do that. All right, so now we have our new disk formatted NTFS and we have the options here too. So when you click on a disk, you also have some menus up here. You know, reload, that's to refresh. So if you make some changes, you could just refresh everything here. Uh, if you want to change the views, fonts, so on. So this here will, you know, be grayed out until you click on a specific disk here to activate some of the uh, options here. You know, copy, delete partitions, rebuild the master boot record, uh, convert MBR to GPT disk, uh, surface test, if you want to run that and see what it finds, you know, looking for any errors. Data recovery. which is a whole separate module. You'll notice it opens in a different tab here. And then you can start a search for deleted files and restore them if, if they're not you know too far gone or overwritten by something else. So let's uh, click out of this here. I'll stop it first. Okay, you could even wipe a disk if you want to do that. You have different levels, you know, Department of Defense levels, very slow, uh, but it'll do a much better job, you know, seven passes. Wiping the disk, check the disk properties, and you have your partition men menu here, so let's go on a different part of the disk here. So move and resize, extend, merge, a lot of the stuff we saw before, explore, you know, there's our Windows drive and you can see all the folders there. Delete, align, format, change the label, check the file system, convert to fat. You know, modify serial numbers, partition types, cluster size, wipe it again, check the partition. Then, of course, you have your dynamic disk menu if you have a dynamic disk like this one. A lot of the similar items here delete for format, move, recovery, copy, wipe, all the other good stuff. And then you have your help menu here. All right, and then at the top here, you have some other options. So you have your main partition management here with your menu here. And like I said, each one will change depending on what type of disk or partition you're clicked on here. All right, so now we have our data recovery. So select a location to start recovering. We have our C drive here. That's the only thing that has some data. You could do a scan on it. So this will open up the same data recovery uh, when, window that we saw before. You do a search for certain items, preview, export your scan results. So we're gonna close this for now. And we have our partition recovery. 
So you can recover lost or deleted partitions, which I don't have on here, so I can't show you how that works. But you could just go through this thing here as well. And start a scan to look for any missing information. Okay, then we have our disk benchmark if you want to do a little speed test here for performance. So let's say we start this here. Obviously, it's going to take some time to run. We'll give it a second just to kind of show you what it does here. Okay, so I sped up that process so it wasn't actually that quick, but it's still a pretty quick process. And you can see how it's testing uh, during that process. And then you could also change uh, some of the uh, settings as well if you want to adjust the levels for your testing. And then at the bottom here, you can see your little chart for sequential reading, sequential writing, random reading, random writing, and that kind of thing. And you could you know, do a different disk and compare and uh, see how it compares to this one. All right, so then, like I said, every time you open something, it opens it a tab. So when you're done with that, just close, close it like that. Okay, and then we have the space analyzer. So if we do the uh, C drive here, we're going to see what we got using our space here. So this will take a few minutes as well. Okay, so we have our scan finished here. Total space, space use, free space. And you can see uh, your percentage here. So if you want to, you know, sort by that. See that this users folder is using 54% of this drive, uh, Windows 21%. That tells you the size that goes along with it, how many items, files, and folders, uh, changes, attributes. Then you have your file types, extensions. You know, you could sort everything by this and see the percentage. You know, 0.08% are zip files on this computer, stuff like that. Then you have your file view, and you could do some searches. And it shows you your uh, percentage of the drive use. So I have this uh, 4K video that's using 10% of the drive space here. And it's 8.9 gigabytes in the last change date. Then you have the folder view. Same thing. Similar to the tree view. You can sort by this too. Users using 54%, 46 gigs, and so on. And like I said, once you're done, you just uh, close out the tab and you're back to your main partition management screen. Okay, so that's kind of a top-down overview of what this program will do. A lot of stuff to go through, so it's worth, you know, at least downloading the free version just to get an idea. And if there's something that um, you can't do, it'll tell you that you need the pro version, then you'll know that you need to buy the pro version to use that feature. But, you know, for five computers for, I think it was $150, or let's see... $159, usually two, normally $200, you know, pretty good deal to use it on five different computers if you do this type of stuff a lot. So I'll put a link in the description where you could download the uh, software and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.